Welcome to Chef Pachi's Journey with Flavors. I season protein and I cut my beef thinly or in tiny slices, like to make a wok. I can do it in a regular pan and when I freeze them, I freeze them flat. That way they will take about two minutes to defrost underwater and I'm ready to cook. Check them out. I put them in a pan, broil them for 50 seconds and we're done. We have an amazing meat, perfect. And you can make tacos, you can make sandwiches, you can make wraps, you can serve it over anything you want. Shepachi. With pork chops, what I do is I always add yogurt and then I add the seasoning I want. When I defrost them, then they're already seasoned and all I have to do is bake them or air fry them. Now we can air fry them and they take seconds to bake. Check it out, seasoning all of them, baking them in the air fryer and they're done in mints. With poultry, I also use yogurt all the time. It keeps it moist and delicious. I open my slices in half so that they are thinner and I can defrost them quickly. Check it out. With my salmon, I do the same. I can either add herbs and olive oil or even citrus juice and freeze it with it. Then, salmon's not that thick, so I don't have to cut it in half. Any leftover salmon, you can cook on your panini grill. Check out how easy it can be to prepare your food if you have it ready. This is how I froze my salmon. Just adding a little bit of the orange peel and my orange juice and I'm ready. I can either freeze one and bake the other one like you see just right here. I bake them at 425 for 12 to 14 minutes and in the air fryer they're just eight minutes for medium, nine minutes for fully cooked, and seven minutes for medium rare. With a shrimp, you can do the exact same recipe, or you can just simply put them in skewers with some olive oil, herbs, salt and pepper, and freeze them with the skewers or without. Check them out. They come out beautifully, and you can have them ready to go at any time. You can use the wooden skewers if you want to, and you can use the metal ones. You have great and delicious food in minutes. All you have to do is season it. That way you don't have to add extra sauces to give flavor to your food. Check out, this is my most amazing hack. Separating the skin from the whole chicken and adding a yogurt-based seasoning. There are couple of recipes here, but it's just as simple as adding half a cup of yogurt and three tablespoons of Dijon mustard all over your chicken. Bake it and have an amazing chicken anytime. Delicious food is easy if you start ahead of time. Chef Pachi.